I'm Steve. And welcome to Spotted Borders. Get in there. <laughs> uh, so welcome to Santa Pod and welcome to Street Weekend. This is um, going to be an absolutely epic weekend. It's got all the meetings to be mint. Absolutely incredible, yeah. isn't it, really? Madness. Um, yeah, so if you're used to watching Spotted Motors, you're wondering why Michael has uh, grew a beard and got very, very attractive all <laughs> of a sudden. Lost his hair. <laughs> yeah. uh, Michael is uh, one of the most saddest people to be going to Ibiza right now. Of course, yeah. Who, who would imagine it? Oh, going to Ibiza. <laughs> Probably got his weekends mixed up. So that means that uh, me and Steve are flying the flag for Spotted Motors. We're doing it in the Z28 4th Gen Camaro, uh, which we're not too excited about. We're just going to be more filming other cars and uh, following everyone's journey and following Street Weekend, which consists of running here at Santa Pod, making the 200 mile journey, hitting two checkpoints, Melbourne Raceway, Melbourne. staying over at Melbourne, running Leith Man Melbourne, coming back to Santa Pod, uh, and that's going to be over three days. So there's going to be loads of footage, loads of filming, it's going to be a long video. There's tons of cars here. There's 80, what, how, many, how many cars? 83, I think, are finally entered. So, you know, we're going to spend as much time as we can with as many different cars as we can, but we'll probably fix it on a couple of cars and follow everyone's journey. So, yeah, follow us. It's going to be absolutely awesome. It's going to be epic, isn't it? It's going to be brilliant. Yeah, so plan is go and sign on, get this car down the track, and then concentrate on everyone else. And breakfast. 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 Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah breakfast. Uh, car's yeah. done. Car's ready. Let's go. Yeah, let's see how it goes, eh? Cool. So here we go, Friday morning, Santa Pod, and um, the sun is on our side already, which is absolutely fantastic. And I thought I'd just give a quick whistle around the uh, the street weekend pit area. Obviously, like I said, there's a lot of cars here, so it's going to be really difficult to uh, feature cars for a long, long time. But if we can just get everything on camera, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Uh, a mix of everything here as well so it's not just fully fledged sort of pro street drag cars is it there's a right mix of everything here so it's all the makings to be epic got a little beetle over there on the on the trailer as well uh, just down here which i'll get to in a second got real cool uh, Angular or 100 e whatever you want to call that got Annie in it in the AMX which is a, a proven car here it's going to be really interesting to see what that does on the eighth mile um, a, a, a supercharged proper hot rod or rat rod um, a very nice TVR got our friend Gilly there with the uh, Nissan powered uh, 100 e um, the car that needs no introduction is motor addicts there with the uh, with the Datsun uh, oh, Steve, look, another Camaro. Yeah. Yes, another Camaro. Yeah, it looks faster than I was. Yeah, it looks like a fight. Let's head over here. So, I was just about to uh, have a look, quick look at this pop, which is an all time favourite, man. I've actually just noticed, Steve, what is in the back window of the pop? What? What is in the back window of the uh, Ford Pop? Oh, yeah, he's got, got his pineapple. So, everyone's got pineapples. So, we need to go and get a pineapple, Steve. Yeah, when you get a pineapple, basically at the checkpoint, you've got a pineapple in your photo, yeah. you, you, you're not in, you're eliminated. Right. So basically, so you don't, like, you haven't took the photos a week before. So it's pineapple time. It's pineapple time. Let's go and get a pineapple. <laughs> Let's go and get a pineapple, and then we'll have another round of cars. It's a mint idea. So talking about the mix of cars out here, we've got a all-wheel drive uh, Subaru, which is uh, spotting DHL in his spare time. Um, we've got the Audis over here, which... Uh, always phenomenally quick uh, here at Santa Pod um, Minis, Beetle, GTR, uh, Leon um, one of my all time favourite hot rods is the uh, the Cortina Straight and then we've got uh, Roland P there uh, again that's a 12 second uh, front wheel drive car so like I said we're just on our way to go and sign on everyone's starting up and uh, warming through there's another pineapple pineapple Gilly? Pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> you will find out when you sign off. Right, that's where we're heading now, pineapple time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Another really good friend of ours, and I hope he gives us a bit of a waves up and a thumbs up. There we go. It's Tom, what a legend. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, this is the, uh, the pop that I absolutely love. 
cannot wait to see it on the street. Oh, and look, he's the uh, an old Spotted Motors fleet car. Look at this. Oh. I'd, I'd say hello, but it's a bit loud, isn't it? Yeah, no way. <laughs> what a legend running the old Spotted Motors. I know. Fleet Living all right, 50 yeah. miles here. Yeah. So not too bad. I, lo I love that, I love the setup. Yeah. Well, absolute legend. I won't hold you up. Yeah, they're just down there. Yeah, yeah, you've got it, mate. So, we are signed on. Uh, have we spoke about the pineapple? Yeah, we've. Yeah, we. Well, we other people. We uh, yeah. So, we've got our pineapple. Uh, it's a. It's a. Uh, street weekend things so basically every checkpoint we've got to take a photo of the car and us and the pineapple uh, you, you have to name the pineapple so there's only one name for it is in the state which is going to be Michael Michael any one of the guests hi I'm Dale <laughs> <laughs> I'm Michael uh, so yeah next job I think we're going to go get a get a running straight away in our Camaro like I said we're not here to be competitive we're just here to have fun get a run in the Camaro and then we can concentrate on everyone else so that's the plan uh, that's it. There you go. Stays on camera, so if the video of me running is absolutely terrible, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, right. Well, yeah, we'll find that out, yeah, won't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. So this is his first go now, so he's steady, steady hand, and uh, I hope it's recording now. Yeah, not the floor. <laughs> right, see you at the start line. Sound. So that is it now. Um, I'm going to class this as street weekend as officially start. The track is open, and... Uh, We've got this absolutely stunning 57 Bel Air, um, which needs no introduction really. Uh, he's heading down the start line. I think that might prompt us to get down the start line. And this is it. Street weekends has officially started. So a team that we are going to be following uh, on the street and the strip is Ian Wally and his. Uh, a huge turbocharged uh, two-door Ford Cortina. We have done a video on Ian in the past. He's a fantastic guy. He's got a fantastic team behind him, and uh, yeah, hopefully he can put down a good number here at Santa Pod. We know he's run a nine-zero here before, uh, and hopefully he has a stress-free drive on the uh, on the street as well. I'm not going to pester him too much because he looks busy. But Ian, all good up to now, mate? Yeah, so far so good. Yeah. And uh, are you looking forward to getting on, the, doing a few street miles? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah bit hot, but yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And debating the run, are you doing this snakes pass or whatever it's called, or are you going to try and avoid it? Um, we'll see how the traffic is. Yeah. I'd like to do it. Yeah. Never done it before. I'd like to do it, um, and then head over to Ben's. Yeah, yeah. And, and head over to Melbourne. Yeah. But if the traffic's heavy, we're going to go around it. Yeah. But we'll see how it goes. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Well, we'll be right behind you. Cool. cool. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much, mate. Thanks, gents. So, these guys, in my eyes, have already won. Um, first no introduce thing now. <laughs> uh, introduce yourself and, and, uh, and, and uh, uh, your... Yeah. My name is Petter, and this is Linus. We came all the way from Sweden to try out this street weekend event with you guys. Yeah, yeah. Very excited. Yeah. And we had a long drive. We made it here, so we'll and see what, what happens. Was the, uh, what was the, the miles you've done? Um, in kilometers, 1,500 km kilometers. <laughs> so we left Tuesday morning, Yeah. but the, we took two ferries, which was nice, but we still drove all, well, when we were awake, we were driving. Yeah, we yeah, could yeah. sleep on the boat, then, yeah. which was nice. That's absolutely awesome. Yeah, so and uh, this here is your? Yeah, Dirty Mekkes, that's, yeah. that's our race crew that we yeah. run. We run uh, Dragon Drive in Sweden, the street uh, week. Yeah. We've been doing it since the beginning, and we, we love this stuff, so when you, I saw one stu going down here, yeah. we didn't hesitate. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. Well, massive respect, and I know everyone here is really excited to have you here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll have a little look around the car. Yeah. Uh, when you're not so busy getting changed and whatnot, because uh, it's it, good. Yeah, it's got a couple of secrets. We'll this car. Tour later. Yeah, yeah, that sounds perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. So absolutely perfect timing here. We've got Scott Rod and the Nightmare Road, the uh, other Camaro that is uh, that we're going to be following. I'll put all the links in the description and whatnot. I picked a bad time, but we've got a hot rod running. I was going to say hello, but I think I'll wait for him to turn his engine off. <laughs> <laughs> While his engine's running, actually, we'll have a quick look. A, a crazy car that's so sweet with him. And then we come back to Scott. Oh, wow. 
What's going on? How are we doing? All right, man. Are you excited? Just thought, will it try and intimidate the car in front? Oh, yeah, yeah you've, you've done it already. <laughs> there we go. Two, yeah, yeah. two, two Camaros. I know. Sisters. Good win. The new school or the old school. Oh, mate, it doesn't matter. It's about taking part in it. You've got it in one, mate. You've got it in it's one. It's about having a good time, man. That's what we're yeah, here for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, what are you doing? One and done? Or are you going to see how we get on first? See what happens. Yeah. We knock the tyres off it. Definitely yeah. not one and done, mate. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? But uh, we'll have to see what's what. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. Got the drag radials on first time we've used them, so yeah. see how we go. Awesome, mate. And um, you can follow Scott's journey as well you on. Can. I've rebranded the YouTube channel, so it's The Nightmare or 79 now. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so just check, look, look, look us up and uh, also on Instagram, The Dot Nightmare on Insta as well. Fantastic, mate, right? All Best right, look. Same you, Dale Cheese, mate. Yeah, enjoy it, mate. So, my first run in the Camaro and Steve's first time holding a camera. Really shot him in the deep end and we must have hit a button when we handed the camera over to each other and it filmed in this like weird pastel colour but anyway run a 40 in one at 99 mile an hour which was quite happy with and Steve did a great job as well staying on the line and got a few more bits of footage too How are we doing mate? Hello have you been down yet or is it? Yeah, I've been down. Oh yeah, how'd you get on? Uh, 13, 200 foot. Yeah, are you happy with that? A mile an hour's there, it yeah. just didn't 60 foot that well, it bogged a bit off the line. So right, yeah, yeah. a bit more off this one. If it doesn't go any quicker, I think that's going to be me done for the day. Nice, yeah, back. yeah, yeah. Absolutely awesome. So what engine is in this? Uh, it's just a standard 1.8 turbo, 20 valve. Yeah. Um, just KO3S. Um, it's pretty much, it's an unopened engine. Yeah. Um, Scrap yard bits <laughs> uh, with a map. We don't know what the map is, but it uh, dynoed on the pal's car and 230 to the wheels. Oh, so well, it's enough for that, isn't so, it? Yeah. And what you're going to be like on the street? Are you comfy, happy, no Uncomfortable, worries? Unhappy, but no worries. <laughs> I love it. I think it's just going to be hot. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Oh, nice one. Well, I'll see you on the start line. I'll see you on the street. Cheers, man. Seven there for Ethan, fantastic run. Another car and another team we are going to be following is Arnie. We uh, did feature him on a very, very quick video before, but uh, Arnie has previously ran a uh, eight six in this uh, and uh, on the back of a door slammers win as well. Ran an eight nine eight in full street trim. So he's had a good play about with it over the last week or two. Open for a, open for another, another good run and then straight on the road. So yeah, here we go. Let's follow him to the start line. Fifty-nine nine over there. Obviously, Arnie had a problem on the on the line, but one hundred and fifty-nine. Woo! Just gonna spend a second as well having a look inside this, which is doing street weekend. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just having a look at your view. <laughs> Supercharged, big block. I mean, look at that for a view, and this is street legal doing street weekend, ready to put a pass in and then do 400 mile. Absolutely wicked. Love this, that's what it's all about. So a car that needs no introduction at all and uh, I dare say that everyone at Santa Pod and Melbourne and everyone on the street is super excited that the ugly sister, the 60, the, the 56 Chevy Bella is doing street weekend. Uh, like I said, everyone's super excited to have it here and Andy's already put a pass down. He's in the lanes again and uh, yeah, like I say, everyone at Melbourne cannot wait to have this car uh, on the eighth mile as well. So a very, very proven car. So just why Ian is getting uh, strapped in and sorting the tyre pressures out, the uh, apologies because the camera does not like this sunlight and uh, I'm really struggling for focus. 
So uh, hopefully it sorts itself out when we're on the street because it's not making for a fantastic video if it keeps doing that. But there you go, we'll, we'll power through. So just sat in the stands there and uh, met Tom and he was telling us a little bit about his Maverick. Just walked down, just bumped into him and we blew away with it mate, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so it's a, it's a 74 Maverick, um, it's actually got a Ford 289 in it. Um, so it's actually my old man's car because I've got another car we were going to do this event in but it wasn't ready so this is like this was the backup plan but it, I mean it's, it's a nice cruiser hopefully if we can keep if we don't overheat we should be all right yeah obviously we've got a long drive today um, so yeah we've just done one run which was pretty bad but we'll try and do a better run on Sunday if we make it all the way back so yeah. um, so but yeah. again like you said in the stands you're not too fussed about what time you ran it's not more really. about being on the street it's and more just... about the experience yeah. really I mean we're not really that serious racers so it's just a bit of fun for us really yeah um, we just want to complete the thing so yeah. yeah I mean if we if we get back here on Sunday do one run be very happy I'm sure yeah. he'll be very happy as well because yeah. his car and it's survived <laughs> so uh, yeah yeah and what a team as well yeah father and son yeah, yeah. doing it together yeah so, this is my dad <laughs> yeah. Andy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so hoping for a car that works the whole distance and doesn't overheat and will be great yeah. fantastic yeah if we can complete it that's the objective it's yeah, very yeah. hot very hot so yeah. Yeah, to we'll get back here on sunday yeah yeah, yeah. see, oh, well. it, see yeah. it goes yeah. Yeah. yeah so well best of luck on the street and we'll see you at melbourne i'll have a quick catch up with yeah, you there yeah, yeah. Thanks, Good. yeah. Thanks, awesome. thank, thank you very much lads cheers, cheers. so uh two runs in no well, one run in one run in yeah. sorry sorry uh and it's not what you wanted was it uh maybe i aimed too high had too much <laughs> RPM on the starting line, yeah. too much boost, and we spun it all. Aye. I, I hooked on third and I floored it. The car went great, but yeah. no good time at all. Yeah. So it's working. Uh, much plan now? Are you going to do one more run or are you going to hit we, the road? Uh, we're going to do one more. We're going to ease on the boost. Yeah, not be as aggressive, and it's going to be faster. Maybe we do a 10 now. Yeah. So we lowered our expectation from a 9 to a 10. <laughs> and you've always got Sunday. Sunday is going to be yeah. more more prepped, I guess. Exactly, so. you've got it, yeah. yeah. So I think it'll be a big difference in the track from today to Sunday, so yeah. yeah. Hope it's not lost, don't worry. No, it's not lost, and we got a long drive ahead of us. Exactly, and yeah. And a whole yeah. weekend, so today, just get through would be nice. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. yeah. Well, wish you all the luck, and uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see you on the street. Good. Right, so we're here with the Motor Addicts guys and uh, they've brought an absolutely stunning, stunning car. It's come out. Yeah, it's come yeah. out to play. It, uh, it's, yeah, it, it's come out exactly as I wanted it to, really. It wasn't... It's taken a while to get to this point, but only because I had a clear sort of idea in my head of what I wanted it to, to yeah. look like and be. And, and, it, and it's turned out as that. Oh, yeah. It's done two runs, ain't fallen apart yet. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've got the jack up and I'm going to have a look at it underneath, but yeah. I think it's all right. It's yeah. all right. And what's your plan? Are you going to do another run or are you hitting over No, here? that's it. No, today I'm going to uh, I'm gonna knock it on the air today. We've got a lot to load up in the trailer. Apparently it's five hours to I, drive. I, I, yeah, Friday afternoon and everything like that as well. That's up your neck of the woods, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's a long drive. So, I want to make sure we've got everything loaded. Is, I mean, I'm not the most organised person <laughs> in the world. So, I'm gonna. it's going to take me a while to make sure I've got all this, all the stuff that I need. But, um, yeah, load the trailer up. There's a bit of a noise coming from underneath. 
it might be something. So we are, we are here with an absolute living legend. <laughs> uh, what are we laughing at? Uh, Gilly, who Hello. we have known for absolute years, and we've Absolutely. raced with him and against him, and it's a pleasure to see he doing street weekend. And you. Yeah. Um, so how many runs have you done this morning? Three. Three runs. You're flying. It's all right. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. I'm just getting used to it. first time I've run it on the quarter. Yeah. So uh, that was a bit of a shock. <laughs> uh, it actually hooked up quite nicely. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I still think it's. It's thing is, uh, everybody tells you that the quarter's the thing to do, but the eighth. After the eighth, you're not doing anything. Yeah, you're just, you're all, just sort, sort of hanging it out to dry, aren't what's you? Really. All that about? Yeah. So uh, the the uh, eighth is fine, as far as yeah, I'm, I like the eighth. I'm an eighth fan. So uh, and that's where we're going to head now, are we? Pardon? That's where we're heading now. We're going to uh, go to a couple of checkpoints and then to Melbourne. Yeah, once we've packed, yeah. I think we're overestimating what we can take in this little thing, yeah. even with our lovely roof rack. Yeah, awesome. So, so, and what time are you setting off? Is it literally as soon as you got? Well, when we, I don't know, when when we've got everything together, <laughs> when we've managed to stuff everything in, yeah, yeah. and ourselves, yeah, and then so. we'll see where we get to. Awesome. Right, I won't hold you up any longer, but thank you, and I'll see you at Melbourne. Smash it. Lovely job. Cheers, Gilly. Take care. So, so that is Spot Motors done at Santa Pod for today. Uh, Co-pilot is already on, taking the tent down. So we just need to put this. So you don't see that it's wet. Yeah. <laughs> All this is going in the car, and then as soon as a few of the other cars hit the road, we'll be following them. Uh, so yeah, next time you see us, we'll be on the on the street heading to Melbourne. Not actually heading to checkpoints. We've got two checkpoints to hit, so. Uh, yeah, checkpoints will be fun. Looking forward to getting to EDA and seeing Ben Rushforth as well. So yeah, awesome. Focus. There we go. Right, so we are on the way to uh, our first checkpoint uh, before we hit Melbourne. And look, we've got a gaggle of cars in the petrol station. And there's something about an American car. There's something about a drag car in a petrol station. Um, it's, it's all about Tom. All good. So far, the five first, miles and we're all good. Yeah, the first five <laughs> miles. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Oh, hang on a minute. What's his name? Is that, oh, he's the, at the moment he's the contaminated coconut. <laughs> <laughs> but he could evolve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's going to change as time goes on, I think. Awesome, mate. Absolutely <laughs> awesome. He's matured. Ravens. Exactly, yeah. Look, well, he'll have wilted, I think, rather than matured. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Right, yeah. have a little wander around. Look at this. Yo, right, guys, how we doing? Um, good. Yeah. Uh, so, 20 miles in. Well, 10 miles in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the only accident so far, I just smelled a fuck ton load of petrol over the floor. Oh, oh. my God, me hoodie, but then my hoodie will smell all weekend. Yeah, that's going to smell forever in a day now. Oh, mate, the smells you get through this car. <laughs> Someone says bathroom. <laughs> and how's the main man doing? Oh, First couple of miles, alright? Yeah, it's too hot. <laughs> I'm honestly in it for five minutes and it's yeah. like oh. That's the uh, ventilation we've got here. It's not much. How's the first couple of miles? Um, well, okay, it's good. We're fairly really warm. Yeah. Yeah, we're glad to be cruising it. I better see. Yeah. Cause it Ah, oh, 60 is perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But below that today, it's like getting the gauges is going uh, right. Up. Need but the airflow. If we can get stay at 60, we're all right. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Are you feeling good? Yeah. Extremely, extremely, extremely hot. Yeah, that's it. But you're happy. Ish. I'd rather it was running a bit cooler. Yeah, yeah. Buy loads of ice. For the last weekend, it was, you know, more challenging. You know, with a lot of slow stuff, yeah. and it was, uh, and it was all right. We, we worried a lot of the time looking at the looking at the, at the temperature gauge all the time. Yeah, I told you, they look at the temperature gauge. Both yeah. were all here together. Never leave a man behind. So that was it, fueled up and we were officially on the street and we were following some absolutely fantastic cars and we got some wonderful bonus shots which are coming up very shortly.
then all that fun come to a very fast end when the M1 North come to absolute gridlock. We were stuck on this for absolute hours and it was absolutely torturous in this heat. But it all paid off as soon as we got back rolling and heading to the first checkpoint. Just take a look at some of these views. These were beautiful driving roads and again we were joined with great company. We have just stopped at a wonderful, very scenic spot. Uh, Tom's Nova absolutely performing amazingly. Uh, the F-150 again performing very, very well. Scott, uh, <laughs> he's had a few, well, one little issue, he's lost a bit of fuel pressure. Uh, gonna limp it sort of back. I'm not back with an Olympic to sort of the next checkpoint, have another check over it, see how it's running, but yeah. Confident? Yeah, hopefully it's just the fuel regulators just took the shit. Yeah. So we'll go from there, mate. Awesome. See what happens. Right. I'll take it easy, yeah? Yeah, we will do, man. Steve, where are we? Where are we, Dale? We're at the first checkpoint! <laughs> first checkpoint! <laughs> so we made it to the first checkpoint. We quickly swung into the car park and took our pineapple shots, which was Real good fun. It was the first time we had the uh, the photos with the pineapples, and uh, yeah, it was a good bit of fun. So as soon as we got these photos taken, we were back on the road and heading to an, a destination that I was really looking forward to, EDA. Second checkpoint, and it has been an absolute. It's been an absolute daydream getting here. Uh, Arnie's telling us how to get here, but oh, EDA, here we are, we are here, and we are super happy, super happy. Oh, so we've made it to EDA and we're so happy, and uh, Ben's put on a proper show as well. Absolute magic. Yeah, and he's the main man. Welcome to Spotted Mode, I'm Dale. <laughs> How are we doing, boss? Wonderful. You're Wonderful. Right, are you this is amazing. Isn't it just, yeah? Uh, what a show you've got. better than, well, I just thought a few guys had come down, got a few of my mates in there, cool yeah. cars. Yeah, yeah. Oh, blown away. You know, and we've still got 50% of the cars to come yet. I know as well. it's bonkers, isn't it? Really? 50%? I would say so, so yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, you're up there at the top. <laughs> the pizzas have all eaten, the donuts have nearly gone, but I we're don't still care. here. I don't care. We're exactly here We've beaten another pickles pineapples, won't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God knows we left all the pineapples, but we've got hundreds of them. So we're all right. So. Has anyone dino to pan up yet? Not yet. Oh well, let's get yeah. one on that dino. <laughs> <laughs> so now the excitement is somewhat calmed down since uh, arriving at EDA. Uh, I've got myself a, a cup of tea, so I'm over the moon. We'll quickly check out um, Ben's two absolutely amazing cars. Uh, this Mustang has been in his family for such a long time, and uh, Ben has um, stuck a 347 in it and it is literally a burnout machine uh, that's an awesome ride and this um, always leaves me speechless because I think it is one of the nicest hot rods one of the nicest Ford Angular Ford Pops around it's absolutely stunning and uh, Ben drives it, races it, races it hard as well uh, and it is, it's a it's a it's a show car, isn't it? Absolute show car. Uh, wish we could spend all day just panning the camera on this, but yeah, we've uh, we've got to go from here to Melbourne Raceway, so we'll catch up with Ben a little bit more. And uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to Ben and everyone at EDA for putting on such a fine. Uh, checkpoint number two. So thank you, Ben, and thank you, everyone involved. So the lads are going to head to Melbourne. We've literally, literally went uh, all the way from Santa Pod to here. Tom, you're a legend. 
Yeah, we uh, literally convoyed with them all the way to here, and they're going to do the last little stint on their own to uh, to Melbourne. We'll catch up with them there, but that was an epic road trip if ever I've seen one. MG, what's he going to do? from Sweden have arrived. Yes, boys. Well done, lads. Big blocks in one place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we're in England. So it's got to be in America. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can make a Nick and Chevy parts while we're here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So Ben, what a day. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's what now, quarter past half past ten, half yeah. past four the first car rolled through the gates, so and they're still coming away. Yeah. Andy Bond's forty five minutes away apparently. So oh really? Yeah, yeah. So that's you know, I'm buzzing to see that car come through the gate. So I'm here till that's here. Oh mint. Uh, I'm just blown away. Everyone's had, you know, a great afternoon, I think, you know, great reception. Everyone's glad that we put on a little bit of food and drink and that Yeah. It's nothing really, you know, it's just to say, Well done guys, you've got this far, let's keep going and I'm yeah. really enjoying watching it all. Uh, the group chat that we've all been part of has been absolutely hilarious. Great day all day you know, for the last week, really. Uh, watch it on the webcam earlier. Yeah, just fantastic. Just yeah, fantastic. Been, I it, will be part of it next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you say, you, you've got that in your mind, haven't yeah, you? Oh, you've got the car. If the Mustang had been sort of, I wish I'd done it in Dad's Mustang. Yeah. I wanted to be a checkpoint and be here to see. Yeah, all yeah, you had that in your mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But next year we'll be there. Yeah. But uh, I'm sure I'm going to speak on behalf of everyone that has entered the street weekend. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. You know. I, all I've done is put a gazebo up and some cans of pop outside. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's more I, than I, that. I want to make you feel all welcome. Yeah. You know, you're all mates of mine ultimately. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, your guys are welcome. You're yeah. all very welcome. Yeah. Awesome. Right, well, we're going to hit the road in a minute. So, uh, Good luck yeah. tomorrow and Sunday. Thank you very um, much, I'll mate. I'll be keeping an eye on all of you. Awesome. Right, I'll leave you to it because you've Dale. rushed off your feet, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I've got a small <laughs> Chevy to fix now. So, yeah, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, awesome, mate. Thanks again. Thank you. Back on the road, and we were heading to. Melbourne Raceway in the dead of night. This was absolutely fantastic and it even made it more special because we were cruising alongside Ian Wally, a car and a driver who I followed for a very long time and uh, one of the first cars that I seen race uh, at York Raceway back in 2004. Uh, 
So it was epic rolling with him. So this is half past 12 on Friday and uh, cars are just rolling. Now we got here around about 10 minutes ago and uh, we still got cars coming in. The, the, there's the uh, Swedish lads over there. Oh my God, what a absolute crazy, crazy, crazy day. Cannot wait to get the tent up and get to bed. See in the distance there, there's still lights coming in. Still cars coming in. So we stayed up with the camera and it was well worth it. Cars just kept on rolling in and uh, just, re just remember that these cars have just covered 200 mile. Seeing these cars on the street is one thing, but seeing them in the dead of night is really something else. I mean, this rat rod has just covered them 200 miles that was just said. And the visibility that this car must have had with very little light, a big supercharger. So yeah, massive hats off to uh, Justin in the rat rod. Um, that is somewhere else watching that pulling this time of night. And Arnie as well, uh, he's torn trailer as well. So massive respect to these guys. Then two o'clock in the morning, Andy Bond rolls in with his 56 Chevy Bel Air. I mean, again, he's just covered the 200 mile. And then the first thing he gets introduced to at Melbourne Raceway is me running around with the camera, swapping batteries, telling him to hold still so I can get some shots. It must have been absolutely crazy for him. But Andy and his team were really, really cool. Spent some real nice time with us. Um, we got some shots, we got some snaps, and we got a little bit of footage, albeit without the microphone plugged in, hence the voiceover. But yeah, massive respect to uh, Andy and his team uh, for spending a little bit of time with two very overexcited uh, camera guys. Then three o'clock in the morning, the last car rolled in to Melbourne Raceway. Al Mack and his Volvo, hats off. This was an excellent way to top off what it was a wonderful day. Day two, Melbourne Raceway. And you're probably thinking now, well, my words aren't matching the way my mouth's moving. And that is correct because in a sleep deprived state, we didn't plug the microphone back in again. So we got very, very limited uh, vocal on this clip. So I can't exactly redo it. So here we are, day two, Melbourne Raceway. And Melbourne Raceway is the eighth mile no prep that everyone was looking forward to. This is a bit of a home track for me. This is the first sort of drag race I got introduced to in 2004. And I've been coming here for a lot of years since, raced here a lot as well. So this was really, really exciting uh, time for me, especially seeing some of the big hitters uh, about to race here too. Take any of the timing equipment out, only that sponge. I was uh... taking photographs for the lads. Video? Videos. Video. Yeah. You want to get how he feels right now after pirouetting down the track? My legs have stopped shaking. <laughs> <laughs> they were fine when it was all happening. Is yeah. that once you get back on the return run, it's all back to normal. Yeah. Then my legs start going a bit. You're like, oh, that was. <laughs> what what stage? Nineteen sixty-five. Uh, <laughs> a little Anglia, uh, a little 
don't know what he's got on the bonnet, but certainly not the original. Uh, 8.16 at 95 for Tom Semper, and 8.74 at 94 for Tom Atkinson. <laughs> Like the Simmons has got a V8 rather than the old uh, V6 Ford it had in originally, 9.47 to 76 for Paul Carlin, Steve Gilmore, Steve with an 8.32. Well, Caddy. Dana J. James going a little bit squirrely at half track, runs a 7.72 at 93. Hero. Regulars here at. Uh, going to be a quick run from. Uh, yeah, no, we won't get. Ah, seven point one six hundred and thirteen for Ian. Uh, yeah. Two three at seventy six for Owen and the Datsun, and ten point two three at sixty nine for Steve Onsworth. So that's uh, the first run in there for the uh, for the Camaro and uh, we've already submitted the ticket which means we are one and done at Melbourne. Uh, ran a 9.3 which we were actually quite chuffed about as the 8th at Santa Pod was a 9.1, 9.3 I'm sure, I hope, hopefully I said 9.3 there. Uh, my brain is absolutely fried, I'm spanned uh, and we're going to do it all again, we're going to set off. The lads that we cruised with yesterday, they're setting off now. Got Tom there, he's about to uh, embark on his way back to Santa Pod, and uh, that's where we're going to head off in a bit. We're going to film Arnie uh, in the AMX, and then uh, we're going to hit the road as well. So, yeah, hopefully, we get some nice convoy uh, on the route down there. And uh, it's been absolutely epic here at Melbourne Raceway. So, thank you very much for having us. I'm going to get back behind the camera and go and film some racing. So there's Tom heading off, um, the Falcon and uh, the Mustang also heading off. We've also got safe journey. That's it, everyone is one and done. The car park is emptying quick. And at the same time, we've got Reese who's just pulled up in the uh, 4i Fox body, who is uh, yet to run, along with the uh, the RS3 lads as well. So there's a bit of a mix here. You've got lads that haven't raced yet, who've just turned up, and lads that have already put one pass in and already on the way to uh, Santa Pod. So there you go. Good. <laughs> there's Ethan there. We uh, cruised with a bit yesterday. That's the second time he's been down, so hopefully he's got a good enough pass to hand his uh, ticket in. So um, we'll catch up with him in a minute too. Another team that we uh, have been following over street weekend is the uh, guys from Sweden. So this is uh, obviously their first time at Melbourne Raceway. Um, really excited to see how they do. These are uh, absolutely fantastic team and it's a pleasure to have them here on street weekend. All good? Yes. Yes. Lads have got to be happy with that. The first time they've run on no prep. Thumbs up. It's a race. It's, it's a full pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how was your first no prep Melbourne experience? 
it was very slippery. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought we did everything we could to yeah. remove power, but we'll have to figure something out because yeah. right off the line we just spun it. Yeah. But it was backed off a lot of a lot of timing after like 0.2 seconds. Yeah. So if we wouldn't have done that, we just smoked them all totally. So seven, seven five. I mean, yeah. it's all right. Yeah. First run. Now we're trying to figure out what's the next step and what can we do to improve. Yeah. So you're definitely going to go again. Yeah, we're gonna do one. Yeah, uh, we we'll maybe do one without uh, the trans brake now. Yeah, that's 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 something I think because you yeah. get more of a slingshot. Yeah, instead of a um, slower is faster. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it is. It is really. Is. Yeah, yeah. So awesome. Well, hopefully we. Uh, Are you running again? No, I think we, we're we're packing up. Enough? We're yeah. gonna pack up and, and uh, hit the road. So yeah. we're gonna let this cool down. And yeah, do another yeah. run, and yeah. then we'll pack up. Yeah. Well, think. Oh, fantastic. I think yeah. we can improve on the seven five. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, love Thank it. You. So yeah, top job, lads. So that, they, well, that or this is our time at Melbourne Raceway coming to an end. Again, like I said a second ago, thanks for having us. We have got this Camaro that we are driving now to Santa Pod, and we are going to be cruising with the rat rod. I mean, what would you rather be in? Definitely that for a mile. Definitely that for the 200 mile. We're also going to be uh, in a convoy with the Ford Pop, which I'm absolutely in love with, and the Angular or 100E and Arnie as well so uh, this will be a real nice convoy and uh, hopefully this is a better journey than we had yesterday Just stopped at the uh, Shell petrol station, these lads obviously running a couple of smaller tanks than what we are, especially in the, uh, in the hot run. I'm just going to wipe the lens a second. Back in the room, back in the room, but uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's watering hole. If it's you, it'd be an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. Treating you good? Yeah, doing well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all happy. Are you brimming it? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> and then swoop round here. Is she doing all right? Yeah, doing all right, yeah. yeah. much fun rolling with this gang we can't tell you how much we enjoyed the rolling shots 
So this was a massive highlight to our street weekend trip and uh, these all, all, all these cars were made into dark side development which was checkpoint number three, checkpoint number one of the day without any issues. So the Camaro has obviously made it to dark side development. We're going to nip inside there in a minute. There's uh, a good flow of cars coming in and out. So uh, yeah, this is a, a fantastic checkpoint number three. So all good in that way. Uh, the cars that we've been convoying with, let's get that one there, in there. The cars that we've been convoying with are absolutely amazing. They've run really really well with no problems whatsoever so uh turning out to be a fantastic uh, a fantastic start to saturday so yeah all good all good so yeah we're going to nip into dark side development have a little look in there and uh back on the road so like i said we have made it to dark side development and uh, i've grabbed all the rob and he's brought us straight out the back and he's shown all the goodies that he does and he's going to explain a little bit now about uh, exactly what you do here yeah so we're dark side developments primarily a diesel tuner specializing in vag and bmw vehicles this is our general workshop but at the moment it's over on with race cars in keeping with the theme we've got the arosa raid that did like a nine four back in the day We've not really pushed it since that, we've been too busy focusing on the circuit racing side of things. I'll give you a quick tour around and show you what we've got going on. Awesome. Our S3 TCR car on the ramp there at the moment, just getting a, a little bit of work before the next round club enduro at Brands Hatch. We'll see what else we've got going on. The other diesel race car. Six litre V12, paired up to a T56, that's for our single cab Amarok project. Another race car in the workshop there. Got Scott's A7 getting timing chains. Um, I think we've got Matisse running a car up on the dyno at the moment. So we've timed that perfectly there, haven't we, Dean Lee? Custom reception just there. Over in Unit 5 we've got our distribution centre. Uh, in Unit 7, the one next to that is paint and body. All right. Oh, it's good timing actually, because all our diesel customers have just turned. Ah, up. look at that for timing. So, uh, you've uh, cast your hand uh, across a lot of this. Uh, yeah, every one of these will do. Yeah. So, Matt's running like 450 horsepower. Bobby, that's a one point six running like two, just under 250 and Andrew McDonald converted to a 2 litre close to 300 horsepower. That's absolutely awesome. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. No uh, the socials, do you want to drop all the social links? Yeah, just Dark Side Developments. Yeah. Uh, you should su subscribe to our YouTube channel, yeah. Instagram, Facebook, yeah. and thanks for coming. Yeah, Rob, yeah. thank you very much for your time. No thanks worries. for the tour. Cheers. Absolutely awesome. Cheers, Good mate. Luck. So, big shout out to the Red Heart Hotel. Uh, Catered wonderfully there for uh, a bunch of street weekend races, and we are over the moon to have some uh, proper pub grub. And now we are ready to hit the road, and we are ready to go to straight to the point racing. Uh, and it's just doing a bit of a three-point turn without the trailer on. And uh, apart from that, everyone else is ready to rock and roll. So yeah, overall, a uh, very, very, very good. Uh, pit stop and a checkpoint that we have made for ourselves so yeah all the moon with that one so straight back in the Camaro and uh, yeah we'll see you in well 45 minutes this is the drive
have made it to the fourth and final checkpoint of street weekend and uh, we are here to at sorry we are here at straight to the point racing and uh, there's already a good gaggle of cars uh, coming in and leaving so it's uh, a bit of everything happening at the minute and no matter how many times you look around these cars when you see them again you just can't help but like stand and stare absolutely epic uh, I'm in the way a little bit so I'm going to let everyone manoeuvre and uh, yeah we'll check out straight to the point in a minute too. Reversing all the way, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, fourth and final checkpoint is straight to the point racing. Uh, fantastic, they've got a lovely sign telling you everything that they do so I don't have to reel it all off. Uh, we'll just have a little walk inside as well because already I can see an absolutely stunning uh, silver bird. This is absolutely immaculate in every way shape and form but uh yeah looks like they've got some um very clean facilities here that's definitely for sure but yeah this is straight to the point racing and uh has cars constantly come and go uh once again another absolutely fantastic checkpoint checkpoint we were back on the road and we were cruising with Owen and Nick from the Mod Addicts. This was fantastic because we swapped some rolling shots. Nick was real kind enough to get some shots of the Camaro on the road which was really nice because we had absolutely zero footage apart from it being on track. 
uh, and like I say, we swapped back and forth, had some fun on the road, and it was so much fun. So massive thanks to Motor Addicts, Nick and Owen for yeah, giving us a fantastic memory. Just been cruising there with Owen and uh, Nick from Motor Addicts. It's been an absolute treat as well because we've got some real nice rolling shots on the uh, motorway. Um, and then out of nowhere, Arnie uh, is pops back behind us in the uh, in So the crew is back, we're going to roll back into Santa Pod together. So, yeah, this is just really tops a fantastic day off. Like, an absolutely fucking fantastic day. Not uh, expected at all, that was yeah, it. Yeah, that's mint. That's absolutely mint. So that was the street part of the street weekend completed. We had made it all the way back, the 400 mile round trip back to Santa Pod. And uh, we made it in really good time as well this time, i.e. we made it back and it was still light. So we were super happy and super excited to be back at Santa Pod. <laughs> Top job. Excellent. Thank nice you, job. It's been awesome. It's been time. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Absolutely we've we've really absolutely loved it. Yeah. Every every single second of it. Come here. I'd love one, yeah. <laughs> what have you got? We <laughs> know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, it was epic. <laughs> Cheers, boss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do now? <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, street weekend isn't officially over, but we do feel like we've sort of knocked the wall down because we are back at Santa Pod. The, the, the hardest part of the event is now done, and all we need to do now is put a pass in tomorrow morning and we have completed street weekend. Today has been epic, hasn't mint. it? Mint. Everything. Everything about it. Mint. All the way. Yeah, we've cruised with an absolute gang today yeah, we and we've really got some like of the that. absolute best rolling shots we've, we've and then we hooked up with uh Owen and nick from uh motor addicts and then caught back up with the original gang that we cruise with today so best it's been feeling, one day. yeah it's been absolutely brilliant the camaro has run like an absolute dream and i mean a dream this is uh michael you'll be watching this is going to be quite hard to move on this car because it's performing that well and I'm I'm falling for it. I really, really am. I love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. And you've got your stickers in the back. I've got the stickers in the window. I've always said if I put stickers in the window of a car, I'm going to keep it and it's just full of stickers. So Obviously, it's, it's more this one. Yeah, Scottish yeah. Steve. The Bruce. <laughs> the Bruce. But, yeah, it, it's been fantastic. It almost feels like you should end the video now because it's like been so much of a you know so many miles and stuff to get here and then to, to you know it's to, been to, good it feels like we've accomplished and we've, yeah you know we've, we've, we've it's that more the support flag. and everything isn't it yeah. everyone coming together yeah really good group of lads really so really good yeah so it's been like epic so yeah what we'll do we'll we could literally walk around everyone tonight and, and congratulate everyone and everyone's got their own stories to tell but i think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to put the camera to bed and then we're going to enjoy the night ourselves yep. uh, tomorrow get a run in get the pass done get our time and ticket hand it in and then we'll sort of we'll end it properly then with a few friendly faces and whatever so uh but yeah so for now it's it's good night there's going to be no running around at 12 o'clock when people turn up or is we'll there? try to go to bed a bit earlier or is there i think i've watched that are we are we actually no let's just see what happens let's just see what happens because yeah, we might go with yeah let's go with the floor it's going to be a good one though it is going to be epic yeah. oh look shower time it's shower time Good morning, it is Sunday morning and uh, it's nine o'clock so in the next half an hour all the street weekend cars are going to be heading to the start line to put their final pass in um, to complete 
Street Weekend 2023. Um, like I said, already uh, everyone's already won because everyone has already done the uh, the hardest part of this, uh, which has been the uh, the road driving. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a pass in very early with the uh, with the Camaro, and then we can get on the start line, uh, and then find out how everyone is uh, is going to do on the last run because I think everyone's going to throw everything at the last run so there should be some good times hopefully hopefully the track is good and everyone can start putting some good passes in so yeah there we go we'll get down in the Camaro and then we can follow everybody else and see how they get on so remember the first run in the Camaro was filled in that like weird pastel colour well somehow it happened again we must have knocked the settings on the camera and uh, obviously it was Steve not holding the camera much, he didn't really notice. But hey, we still got the uh, footage of the Camaro run a 14.3. Uh, a little bit slower than the first time round with the 14.1, but nevertheless, we still had an absolutely epic time with the Camaro. run that one just felt it uh, knew it would be slower off the line like your 60 foot 330 I knew that would be slower because it just uh, just bogged put my foot down just felt like there was nothing there at all so uh, yeah not to worry but <laughs> that's it we've completed street weekend <laughs> oh it's been absolutely epic it's been absolutely epic uh, a bit lost for words to be honest with you because it's just been the part of the first one and uh, yeah crossing that finish line there regardless of what time we've just ran that that is official we the spotted motors has completed street weekend 2023 and uh, yeah I'm over the moon absolutely over the moon with that so yeah wicked in the number two spot there, Andy Bond still in that number one spot. So as, we, as we've uh, cruised with the lads all day yesterday, it'd be nice now to um, to get them on film, racing side by side as well. We've got the GoPro in Justin's rat rod as well, so this is going to be a nice uh, nice way to end street weekend for these two guys. So yeah, I'll see you at the start line.
Annie was the last car we filmed at Street Weekend. Annie did an incredible job and finished fourth overall. Uh, Al Mack in the Volvo was second and Andy Bond in the 56 Bel Air was first. Now, positions are one thing, but what made Street Weekend special was everyone that got involved, and everyone that entered, every crew member, all the staff at Santa Pod, all the staff at Melbourne Raceway. This was an absolutely unforgettable weekend for all the right reasons. The mixture of cars, the mixture of people, the, just the absolute atmosphere everywhere you walked, the talk about pineapples, the talk about checkpoints, it absolutely had it all. Uh, we left the track and it definitely took three or four days for it all to sink in. Even now after watching all the footage back it still doesn't feel real that we've actually done it and completed it it was just one of them weekends that will just be remembered forever this was the first street weekend that has been ran between santa pod and melbourne raceway and i dare say it will not be the last just look at everyone's faces look at everyone's smiles everyone had fantastic things to say about it everyone was happy everyone was almost relieved maybe but I can guarantee one thing, everyone will remember this street weekend for being the best weekend they've had in a race car. I can guarantee it. So we will definitely be back next year. Hopefully Michael will not book a holiday so we can uh, race the twin turbo Cortina. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can mix it up with Arnie and uh, get some amazing footage and amazing memories. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up with you guys, but again, I just want to mirror what I said a minute ago. Just congratulations, thanks for coming. You've been nothing but been absolute uh, nothing but fun. Legends, fun and expensive. That's yeah, yeah, mean. yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. How long that took? Yeah. Film you. Training. Sexy, no sexy. Everybody's sexy. sexy. And then uh, to turn it off.